Hey, storytellers. I've had quite a week. It's been really busy and a lot of crap is happening and honestly I am beyond frustrated and depressed and um, one day if you're in the United States you know that the term is ending which means for college people that we have to pick our next term schedule so I decided I was going to do what I said I was going to do my very first episode, my very first video I said I was going to go for my zoology degree. I said I wanted to work with elephants and that that was one of my dreams. And since I started college I haven't worked towards that because I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I was smart enough that I was good enough I guess. And I never thought that I would be comfortable staying in one spot, staying like in one zoo or a sanctuary. Um, so I, I didn't do it. I didn't. Honestly, a lot of it was that I didn't think I was good enough, I didn't think I was smart enough to do it. And compared to my rest of my family, I'm, I'm not smart. I'm not like them. I have to have tutors and I have to work really hard to get my B's and my A's that I do. I have to spend hours on doing homework that takes my brother like five seconds to do. And yes, that's kind of a exaggeration, but he's... Both of my brothers are geniuses, along with my mom and my dad, they're geniuses in my eyes. But I finally decided Monday that I was going to do it. I was going to work towards this dream that I had. So I had to go and do my math placement test, which you know you have to do if you've been out of college or out of high school for two years, you have to take your math placement test. Which, I've been out for three, I haven't done any math, so I'm at the lowest classroom grade level that I could be at. So I have to take six maths to get up to where I have to be in order to get my AA a bi biology degree. Um, because like, this college I'm going to only is for two years, and then you move on to another college to get your actual degree. Um, so this is just a biology degree for me. And so I have to take six classes for that. I'm behind on my science. So that that's kind of got me down because there's so much work. Like, I'm a hard worker. I could do it. And it's no way going to be easy. But I... I finally want to start working towards my dream. I finally feel like I'm in a place that I can do it. It, it amazes me, my dad and my, and my mom. Immediately, immediately believed in me. Believed that I could do it. No hesitation, no... No question about it that I could do it. Their faith in me is unbelievable. It is just unbelievable. But at that square away, I'm gonna try. At least I can say I tried. If I don't make it, I don't if I do, well just means I had to work my ass off to get there. Um, also this week, we had, I think it's called DKI come out to get rid of the mold in the water that was in our house, and our house is to studs. I mean, the kitchen's gone, the bathrooms are gone, the bedrooms are gone, all of our crap is piled in all of our rooms because, um, there's no... There's no pods and there's no storage anywhere, so we've had to keep all of our stuff in our room. So a lot of our stuff is now broken. Stuff that the hurricane didn't ruin. This crew that came in did my big African animal picture is ruined. My bed is ruined. My desk, 
is taken apart and I have no clue where the hardware is so that's that's gone a lot of my dad's models got crushed I mean they were not careful at all with our stuff and it's not their job to be but you would you think they'd have at least a little bit of courtesy to be careful about where they were placing stuff our house is unlivable and we have until the end of December to find a new place that will take four adults and three animals. It has to take our dogs and our cats. So we're thinking about getting a travel trailer, kind of like a fifth wheel but the smaller ones, to just uh, put in our driveway and just we're going to end up living in it in a year, so it's going to be cramped and crowded and I have no clue how I'm going to do YouTube, let alone do my schoolwork, because my tower, I mean my tower is a huge tower. I, think it's, I don't even think it's a standard, I think it's one of the larger ones. So I have no clue how I'm going to fit that in there, and I, I don't have money to go buy a laptop. So. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know what I'm going to do about schooling. I don't know what I'm going to do about YouTube. Because I don't want to stop it. I, I really don't. I enjoy doing it. Even though in some of my episodes it just seems like I'm frustrated at the game. And it's not really the game. It's more about what's going on. But it's going to be a year at least before our house gets fixed and it, it kind of sucks like like the hurricane only lasted for three hours but it's gonna take years for this city to be rebuilt it's gonna take a year for our house to be rebuilt and it just It kinda sucks, it feels like we've been forgotten. Like, it was the shootings, and then there's the fire in California. And because that's still going on, it's still a big thing, but... And everyone's like, you know, poor them, but... I mean, it sucks for them too, don't get me wrong, it does. But like, I'm just frustrated. I really am. I'm just sick and frustrated, and I. I just want to go home. I really just want to go home. 